Hey Cancerians, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be taking a look at your March general reading here. So the first thing that came through in meditation for y'all for March is that wish fulfillment lies on the other side of your comfort zone. What you desire exists only outside of your comfort zone. I was taken to Christmas time, like immediately in your meditation. I saw this, you know, this star on top of a tree. It felt a bit manufactured because it's it's obviously not Christmas time, um, but it felt like a bit of a scene or a stage setting where it was like made to look like Christmas. But I was very aware that like it's not actually Christmas. And I heard that song like Christmas time is here. That song. And then I I saw this aspect of you that was, and I then I saw it was like a very large snow globe. And I saw the Cancerian Collective that is in a place that really loves what they do and they feel like they're operating on all cylinders and really manifesting the life of their dreams was just outside of this bubble. And what I got from the feeling of Christmas time is that there's a certain, um, let's talk about the Six of Cups. Uh, there's an aspect of nostalgia or wanting to stay in what's familiar to the point of your own personal detriment. And I feel like that's coming up for you guys in March. Let's talk about the collective energy briefly because this, this is related. So the collective energy, things have been, um, well, rather intense. It's been an intense couple of years, but things lately, as we've gone into this new year, it's like, oh my God, but it feels, it's a new year, but it feels like old energy. It's very intense. It's a lot of effort, struggle. We feel tired. It's, it's just, it's a lot, right? And there's a sort of looking towards springtime energetically where with the coming of the equinox on the tw March 21st, there feels like there's going to be this shift where things kind of, it's like a build and it goes, oh, and then it exhales and things start to move forward. Things are going to be picking up. All the plants are direct now. We're going to be starting to see the, the real moving groove around that planetary alignment here in the month of March. It feels like for y'all, there is a resistance to stepping outside of your comfort zone or what is familiar, right? Long enough to actually manifest more than what you currently have. Let's take a look at where your animal energy is. It's a very particular, it's, I kind of just want to be like, Christmas is great. What you know is great. What's familiar is great. It's like this need that you guys are really insisting on on feeling comfortable at this time, which also indicates when we're in a place where we just, we know that we're not necessarily like we haven't manifested everything we want or something about our work isn't working for us or our relationship isn't sitting quite right. It's like you can be aware of that. But to actually take steps in movement around it or to act on what you feel and know to be true can be scary and feel like a lot of hard work, especially with the energies as intense as they are. But I feel like March is an opportunity for you to make some headway around it. If you don't love the work that you do, well, start asking around and network yourself and make it available or make it known, right, that you are available for, you know, other work opportunities. Or if, you know, there's something awry in your relationship and you and you know it, but you're not exactly sure what to do, well, maybe counseling or maybe talking to your partner about it or maybe whatever that is. But there's something you're aware of that isn't exactly as it should be or as you would like it to be, but yet there's a reluctance to to make any sort of sudden movement, right, that could kind of knock you out of where you've been in terms of just like getting through, right, which I have a lot of sympathy for. I can, I can feel it, but um, let's see what's going on animal energy wise for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Dragonfly, Ace of Swords, truth, realization, cutting through the illusion of something to find the truth. It's, I, it was not Christmas time, but y'all had me thinking it was Christmas time in your meditation. I'm like, it's not Christmas time. That's like, but there's a tree. There's me. No, no, no. It's not Christmas time. We're past that. But no, I'm not ready to move ahead. No, it's, it's really, it's time to get on with it. We're going into spring, 
right? There's a reluctance to leave the time before or something about it or move ahead in any sort of um, energetic way. You know, Dragonfly is also about dream time messages and inspiration that you get from your dream time. But this is a direct line to your subconscious. This is that you feeling and knowing that something is not as it could be or not as it should be, but you being a bit um, hesitant or maybe you just don't know how to move forward around it. Maybe it just feels a bit cloudy and a bit muddled, right? But this with the dragonfly is like welcoming you to that Ace of Swords reality, where as long as you're willing to access the answers, knowing that they may be difficult or you may not really love what you get, as long as you're willing, right? Those answers lie in the stillness. They could be in your dream time or really an active meditation. And that's everything you need to know, you already know. It's just about being still and quiet and open-minded long enough to be open to what wants to come through, as opposed to retreating to the past in your mind or just existing on a I'm getting by operating basis, okay? Okay. Let's see what's going on for y'all in March for cancer. Remember when I said I uh, saw a star on top of a Christmas tree? And then we have the star here. So the star, it's really beautiful. This is great hope, great faith, great love. This is wish fulfillment. What's really interesting about this is I feel like this is very much in your energy in terms of what you dream of, what you wish for, what you know in your heart of hearts that you are capable of. And I feel like there are aspects around you that are going to start peeping through around this, but you are being encouraged, encouraged to follow it through and go all the way to the other side. Now, another aspect of the star in the wish fulfillment says, be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. Meaning perhaps part of this resistance to move ahead or or, or really fully actualize your highest and best life in this way is because you know that your new life will require that you release your old one or your old state of being, your old relationship status or your old status quo or what you knew and familiar, right? But it's almost like a fish that's that's growing too big for its pond. And I feel like the, the more that you resist it, the more tension there's going to be. But the star is here to say your wish fulfillment is literally, what did I say at the very beginning? Your wish fulfillment lies outside of your comfort zone. And then we have the wish fulfillment key. All right. What else is going on for cancer? What else is going on? Green two of time for you guys as well. Oh my God. Okay. So we've got a couple major arcanas here and some heavy hitting major arcanas here. This is very key time for you. <laughs> Definitely a keen time for you, full possibility. So temperance is about patience, balance, self-care, self-nurture, but also having a very healthy perspective that allows you to see all of your options and the wisdom to know when to take action around those options. Temperance is everything. It's ending, it's beginning, it's the medium, it's the extreme. It's everything that coexists as one to create all of the variances and unity in our experience, right? It's everything. It's interesting here with the temperance here and the star, you know, you are being asked as well to consider the question, how well are you taking care of yourself, right? This could be emotionally, mentally, physically, how well, when temperance comes along, we want to ask, how well are we taking care of ourselves, of our spiritual bodies and or our physical bodies, right? You're being called to really enact in some real self-care in this way. I do feel that. I do feel that. It's like, come out of Christmas land, and come towards, you know, the spa of potential, honey. The spa of potential. <laughs> what else is going on, Cancer? Another major arc. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay, listen. Do you remember how I just hanged man here? Remember how I said I saw the fish that was growing like too big for its bowl? or too big for its pond or whatever. I have these two mega fish that can barely be contained by this bowl. 
So The Hanged Man is very much about flipping your perspective. It's about taking a time out to allow yourself to see something differently. But there's also risk inherent in this. Look at how this performer is like doing this death defying feat where it hangs over the bull, right? But there's also an aspect in this particular depiction about how things appear versus how they really are. Because this is an illusion, this act, right? This is an illusion. We, The audience, you know, is being made to think and this is very dangerous because this guy could drown or these fish could eat him, right? That's what the audience is kind of paying to get the gag on. Like, oh my God, it's so dangerous. Oh my God, is he gonna make it, right? But the performer knows that these fish are vegan, doesn't care anything about that performer. And there's no chance of him drowning because there's like an air pipe he's got you know hidden that he can breathe the whole time there, there's something about this it's like how things appear versus how they actually are Virgo had a similar message come through you might want to check out the Virgo reading if you're feeling um so inclined similar message came through and we have the dragonfly which is like how things appear versus how they actually are is it really Christmas no it's not I feel like I'm on a set of some sort right your wish fulfillment being outside of your comfort zone and then we have what it appears to be versus what it actually is you have outgrown your current status quo and you are being beckoned towards something bigger that will require change and a certain level of sacrifice of the familiar, but will upgrade you to a level of experience and pleasure that you well deserve and are due for. That's the tea. Let's get some clarifiers. The star. Clarify the star is the Ten of Wands, moving the ending of one cycle before the beginning of the other. This is like lay down your load and let it be and rest. Remember what we were talking about, how wish fulfillment requires that you leave behind what was. And then we have the leaving behind what was key with the maximum amount of effort. And then we have the snail here. And we're like, I need you to release yourself from this Ten of Wands so that we can let these collapse. But the snail's like, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. It's that resistance resistance here it's literally that resistance right but the clouds have opened up it's storming and you're really being asked to literally move this is my key that represents moving as well allow yourself to move outside of your current status quo or your comfort zone into something better okay the temperance you've i, I just heard you've done the best that you could where you are you you've done your, you've done the best that you could but you also know that there are changes that you deserve to experience, okay? Temperance. I'm hearing the quote, I don't know who originated this quote, but we regret what we didn't do much more than what we did. We regret what we didn't do much more than we regret what we did. Nine of Wands to clarify temperance. This is this is that wounded warrior. This is feeling like you're benefiting from your own perseverance, but there's a distinct level of fatigue going on here with the Nine of Wands. This is a world weariness. It's that, you know, that strength through fortitude, which is really beautiful. But then we have the temperance here, which speaks of balance and self-care. You are in great need of some real self-care here. We have the self-care key that comes up with the wounded warrior. Get you to that abundant spa, right? That's very much what this feels like. I, it, it, I, it feels like this real necessary um, shift towards like hydration and intuition and quiet time and balance and fun. That's what feels like is on the docket for you guys. And from that place of replenishment, I feel like you're going to get some really big clarity and you're going to see things in a different light than you did before. See how she has that like blindfold over her eyes? Okay. Clarifier for the hanky man. For the hanged man, we have the devil in reverse. So many major arcanas here. So the devil in reverse. Let's talk about the devil in the upright. The devil is about fear, entrapment, addiction, right? What do we say? Wish fulfillment lies on the other side of your comfort zone. Well, also... There's an aspect of wish fulfillment that lies on the other side of your fears, right? Because this is just like a lie. This is just not, everything is not as it appears to be, right? You have all of the power in the world to change your current reality and to manifest what you desire. 
You do. And anything that is contrary to that is fake. It's fake news. It is not real, right? You again, Dragonfly, illusion, devil entrapment with the hanged man, more illusion and flipping that perspective. There are things that you are not able to see quite clearly and you're being asked to take a major time out to allow yourself the time and the space and the access to that clarity, right? The devil in reverse is very much about your, not just your fear, but your desire for things to be a certain way overcoming or overruling what is actually in your highest and best good, right? This is when the ego overtakes things and is running you in a way that a tower or a series of tower moments are inevitable. When we make for more fear-based choices than love-based choices, that is when the tower comes in and shakes things up and burns it down to the ground so that we can be realigned or rearranged back onto our highest and best path. You have the potential right now to shift things as, it, as they are and show some love to and for yourself and to the aspect of yourself that is encouraging you that what you really desire lies on the other side of the changes that you are afraid to make. That's it. But you totally got this, Cancer. Of course you do. Let's get an oracle. <laughs> I feel like saying, like, let's get an oracle and, like, a cup of tea for y'all. Like, can we get, like, a cup of tea? Or, like, a cream tea with, like, a scone? Okay. Oh, y'all! The River Queen. Flow, letting go, natural movement. Flow, letting go, natural movement. Six plus three is nine. Back to the nine of the nine of wands and the wounded warrior. Warrior. And being the water gods and goddesses that you absolutely are, what were we saying with allowing yourself to move with where, you know, spirit, your highest and best self wants you to be? Let go of the status quo and embrace what could be. It's such a beautiful energy that is inviting you to align with it at this time. And again, this is a choice. You can be like dark shadow Ariel living your best life out on the open sea, right? She's definitely living her best life, right? Or you can keep things as they are and always kind of feel that sense of, you know, something's missing, something's not quite as it should be, or I think I, I want more, whatever that is for you. But you're being asked to to embrace some clarity around it. Also, with the Ace of Swords and the Dragonfly, writing could be your best friend right now. Journaling or keeping a dream journal near you when you wake up, write down um, whatever comes to you. With dream work, um, oftentimes we can't remember the details of our dreams, but we can remember the feeling. And oftentimes it's the feeling that can help us recollect the details. So you may wake up and be like, oh, wait, oh, I'm trying to get that detail back, but it's gone. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. But if you wake up and you go, okay, let me first connect in with the feeling. I'm feeling hopeful. I woke up feeling hopeful, hopeful, hopeful. What gives me hope? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my dream. I was talking to my grandma and then she told me that whatever that is and it can kind of help get the ball rolling just for an example I just like play that out in real time for you um just as an example of how that can work but this is absolutely a beautiful opportunity for you to align and go after what you truly deserve and are worthy of you totally got this cancer um I am sending you so many blessings for wonderful march ahead a quick reminder I have a new Facebook group new ish anyway it's been up for a little while but it's for intuitively minded people metaphysically in inclined folks um anyone and everyone to come together in a safe inclusive space and share stories ask questions connect uh, it's been a really wonderful way for me to connect with you guys personally as well which has been really fun I would love to see you over there at the clay, the link to join is in the description box below. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Please, please, please share, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And with that being said, most of all, and as always, thank you for being you and be well until next time.